Grand Prix, we are honored that the organizers continue to hold this distinguished event in our great city. This is the 35th consecutive year the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix will be held in Pittsburgh. The 10 days of vintage car events began on July 7th and culminates as it does every year this weekend at Shenley Park. It is still the only race of its kind in the United States to take place in city streets. When we're asked by the national and international media what makes Pittsburgh unique, what you can only find in Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix is on that prestigious list. Pittsburgh, as you know, is a legendary and iconic sports city and has become a major sports destination due to our ability to host a wide variety of sports events in both indoor and outdoor venues, and of course, in the case of the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, on our city streets. While the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix certainly is an exciting event to watch, it also creates significant economic impact for our region. Last year alone, the event generated $11.2 million in direct spending for the Pittsburgh region. We know Pittsburghers will turn out to support this exciting race because Pittsburghers love a winner, and the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix is certainly a winning sports event. I would like to now introduce Corey O'Connor, City Councilman for the City's 5th District. Corey is a former board member of Visit Pittsburgh and is a good friend of Sports Pittsburgh. He is a champion of attracting large sports events to Pittsburgh and understands the many benefits for our communities and local businesses. Please welcome Councilman Corey O'Connor. Thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of the City of Pittsburgh, City Council and the Mayor, we really want to welcome everybody. This is a great week in the City of Pittsburgh. I get to host this in my district, uh, which is always a great event, and we've been working on this project for 35 years now. The benefit to this in the City of Pittsburgh, especially the Squirrel Hill area, it brings roughly about 250,000 people into our region each and every year. That goes to helping the local restaurants, the local bars, the local shops. And that's why events like the Vintage Grand Prix are something that are staples in the city of Pittsburgh that we support as a council and the mayor's office. And not only that, each and every year, charity wins at the end of the day. The Vintage Grand Prix over their 35 years has raised roughly $5 million for the Allegheny Valley School. That is the most important thing. Yes, please give them a round of applause. That is some of the most important work that we can do, not only from this event, but for the kids in need. And I think uh, Dan and his crew has done an amazing job. And it's not just going to be the event in Squirrel, in Squirrel Hill at Shenley Park, it's going to be throughout the county. So I ask you, if you're around, please go out and see these events, support our local shops and businesses while you're out there, because this is really a true gift to the city of Pittsburgh, and we're proud to have it each and every year. I do have one complaint that I've made for the last, well, I'm not that old, but um, the last 32 years, um, the Vintage Grand Prix ruins my golf game because I practice at Chenley Park each and every weekend, and now I can't. But it's for charity, it's a good cause. I always tease Dan that it hurts my golf game, but I don't play that much golf anymore anyways. But uh, on behalf of the city of Pittsburgh, we really want to thank you for being here today and thank you for all the great work that you do for our region. Thank you. 